You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. I'm not bald. And I'm not Harry. <laughs> but my name is Rob. <laughs> And this is Astro and You, and we are glad that you're hanging out with us today. And this is also episode number 836, so we're cruising along here. Thank you guys for making it happen. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for sending in questions. And for that next one, please go to AskDroneU.com. We definitely want to hear from you. Um, as many questions as you have, we'll take them. Yeah. You want to know a little fun fact today? Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, you know what he did? He wrote the decision on the Taylor case concerning drone registration. He eliminated drone registration. Mm. But then it was brought back by Trump, the guy that just hired him. Weird. <laughs> that is a vicious fact cycle. Of, fact of the day. Definition of vicious cycle. <laughs> that is an interesting fact of the day, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple more where those came from. I should have given you more credit for that fact of the day. Oh, huh. man, I'm ready for a fun show. Are you? Always. Yeah, we definitely try to make them fun, although not too fun, because some people don't here? like too much fun, huh? Oh, oh well. We're Sorry. talking about FAA certified instructors. Oh, well, I'm going to have some fun with this one. <laughs> okay, so. well, before we play Gosh. the question for you, we want to talk to you a little bit about DynexDrones.com. If you're looking for a place to buy your next drone that might be able to help you do it with a little less money out of your pocket, you may want to check them out, DynexDrones.com. They've got just about everything you're going to need to get your business off the ground or maybe to step it up and do a little bit more of the kind of work that you've been angling to do but just haven't had the equipment to do it. And if you want to get a discount of 25 bucks off of your next purchase from them, use the coupon code DRONEUSAVE25, the number 25, and that's all uppercase. Check them out, DynexDrones.com. Hi. I have a question. I live north of Detroit area and have been flying drones and before that radio controlled helicopters since about 1987. My question today is our local police and sheriff department up here have recently purchased some DJI Mavics for use for search and rescue, accident investigation, and uh, anything else that they can think of, which I think is probably a, a move in the right direction. My question is, they state that they have just finished training with a certified FAA instructor. I have not found or cannot find anywhere where it talks about the FAA certifying drone instructors. Can you please clarify that, or is this just somebody, uh, maybe a 107 pilot, that feels that they somehow are now certified FAA flight instructors? Thanks. Keep up the good work. Well, I'm going to let you go, Paul. Uh, by the way, I, I already emailed him and told him this whole thing, so yeah. I, I actually took the email uh, off your screen, so sorry. Uh, I typically don't get the emails from the question askers, because sometimes I'll be like, what are you thinking? No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that to <laughs> No, I, I saw you email that, and I, I think that's good. That's... And you know, no, what? I took my privacy screen off my laptop. No. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some things I wish I hadn't seen. Put that privacy screen back on there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh. I'm kidding. That's that's a joke. But in all seriousness, this is actually fairly serious. If people are out there, it saying is fairly that, serious right? because there's a guy on Facebook and there's another guy who have done this exact same thing. One guy said, "I'm the only part one four one." Drone school on the planet. I, and you know what? I love this drone community because he got absolutely ripped a new one. And it was fantastic because it was like, look, dude, let's go to 14 CFR 141 and let's look up what this talks about. There's nothing in there about drones. There's no such thing as a, an FAA certified drone school, UAS school, UAB school. None of that. So let's talk about certified flight instructors. Uh, by the way. It, on your 107 recency test, you're going to need to know what a DPE is. And you should ask this CFI if he even knows what a DPE is. Um, designated public examiner. Um, but anyway. Um, I knew this one would get Paul fired yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I hate this crap. Because, okay, so let's, let's be fair. 
There are certified flight instructors for manned, manned. There's a human in the plane, helicopter or whatever. There are certified flight instructors for manned aircraft. There is no such thing as a certified flight instructor for drones. If there was, I'd be number one. Okay, well, okay maybe not well, number one. Okay. Let's, let's ease Point off five. a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll be humble. I probably wouldn't be number one, but I'm sure I'd be up there. You, anyway. you, you would be one for now, sure. And this is something that we've even like had conversations at like the highest level with the FAA about because we wanted to secure the future of our company. There's no such thing as a CFI for, for drone pilots. Now, that being said, uh, we're having a bunch of Part 107 classes coming up here in August and September because of the recency exams is coming through. And our, our new Drone U Elite pilots are going to be teaching all those classes except for airspace. And there's a reason for that. Even me. Every time I pull out a sectional, I learn something new. Every single class, I learn something new. I mean, it, it, they, sectional maps are some of the most detailed maps on the planet, and they are so difficult to read sometimes. Well, don't they change as well periodically? They do. They do. So mm-hmm. there's that as well, because I know Ted, the CFI that we work very closely with for most of our instructing on that, even he, 30 years in, is saying I learned stuff new. Oh, yeah. But right? he'll also be the first person to tell you, I don't know anything about drones. Don't ask me. That's true. And, and, and he's for, a CFI. Yeah, yeah. And I think that says everything you need to know about a legitimate CFI. Mm-hmm. Because if someone is a CFI and they're saying, I'm a CFI for drones, that's like saying Rob is a professional basketball player and he's going up to bat at the next baseball game. Okay? Fantastic. What does it matter? Like, literally, unless they're teaching airspace, it doesn't matter. We use Ted Wilson, who is a CFI. Again, there's no such thing for CFIs with drones. He is a CFI for manned aircraft, actually light sport aircraft. And he was the United Airlines... uh, He was an instructor. He was an instructor, but also the face of United Airlines for 20 years, teaching pilots, teaching safety videos. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he has a system, and I've seen 25 people teach airspace. He has a system where he's like, A, B, C, D, E. Let's go over the airspaces. A stands for altitude because you'll never go there, okay? And then you remember that. Oh, 18,000 feet higher. All right, I'm never going there, you know? And then B, bravo. Okay, let's talk about D. It's the doghouse because whenever you're on a sectional map, you want to look for the doghouse because it's not always going to be there. Sometimes they put the doghouse in the back of the playpen and you never see it. Same thing with Class D airspace. I mean, like, the dude has analogy on analogy on analogy, and there's a reason you will never see me teaching airspace. Okay? Because <laughs> you won't learn it. You know, I mean, like, I'll be like, oh, da, 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 da. All right, you're good. No, um, I have. It's almost uh, it's almost ballsy of these people to suggest that not they only is are, it ballsy, but it's ruining our industry. And if it, he tells yeah. me who it is, I'm gonna fly out there and slap him on the face, post it on YouTube with the cops in the background watching over me, so okay. I don't get arrested. All right, just kidding. <laughs> don't do that, guys. Just kidding. You're not you're not helping anyone. And I think it actually like the fact that we're getting the word out on this is good though because. People are out there being like, we're the only part 141 drone school. It's like, can't you just find something else to like try to differentiate yourself? Like, uh, look, I've had a big struggle. You guys know this. I've had a big struggle with two things, humility and not talking crap about the people who compete with us because half of those people came from our freaking school. So that's why I get so mad. And the reason is I've had to learn, and I've said this on the show, that if someone asks you about your competition – Your response should be, I will not speak negatively about our competition. If you'd like to know the key statistical or specific differences between what I offer and what they offer, I'd be happy to. But beyond that, I don't know what else you would like to know. Yeah, so as far as... You you have to be key. You know, like, for example, if if someone says, hey, you know, I know that you have been kind of like talking about, you know, DD, whatever, and why? Well, because when we do a mapping training, every single person has a drone. There's three instructors on site. There's five 
to 10 students. So everyone has personalized attention where they learn acquisition types, they learn processing, they learn how to do survey grade mapping, and we don't even advertise that. On top of that, guess what? They're, they're given resources to get questions answered after the fact so they're not left hanging like how most schools do. And these other schools have one instructor and one drone for five or 10 people, and they teach you how to use an application. Go on YouTube and you'll save yourself $1,500, okay? All right, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rabbit trail. But it is uh, it is fun, um, and it is serious. Whew. As much fun and as worked up as, as we're getting, it is something just to be aware of and to be knowledgeable about the fact that that doesn't exist. And if you're being told from somebody that they are that, then uh, you probably want to go to somebody else um, because that could – that, you know, and the interesting thing about it is that person could really know a lot. I mean, they could be very knowledgeable and be a great pilot and all those great things. But if that's the tack they're taking to get the business and uh, um, build their business, that's probably not somebody that I'd be interested in working with personally. I'm just going to let Rob talk about this stuff from now on. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Uh, but anyways. Well, probably it'll be a good thing, so... <laughs> No, it's good. I, I appreciate that you get so passionate about it because it matters and because you care about the industry. And I know all you guys listening do as well. So if you do hear about something like this, um, <laughs> uh, just educate people. Let them know that it doesn't actually exist and it's not hard to figure out. In fact, Paul, the guy that called in with a question, he figured it out, right? He said, I'm not really finding where there is that particular designation. You know what? So, He's awesome. Yeah. He's awesome. He's the type of guy that gives me hope for this country because you can hear – the radio of the police station playing in the background. Like, you can hear it, right? And he's going out of his way to say, look, I've done a lot of research about this. I'm not finding anything. You know, are there any false negatives? You know, mm -hmm. I love that. You deserve an award. Like, seriously, I wish more police officers were like that. Like, they deep dive. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. You rock. You're fantastic. That's the end of the show. All right, that's going to do it for us today, though, for real. If you have a question, go to astronew.com. If you're a police officer, be like Paul Murray because he, he rocks. All right, that's it. My name's Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Hey.